So I've come in this morning and I've had a delivery. I wonder who it's from. Anyway, this video is about what's in this box. So let's get it open and let's find out exactly what I've had sent to me from Kane. Let's get on with it then. Now, let's get this box open. You ready for what I've ordered? Da, 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 da. This beauty. So I've splashed out and I've bought myself uh, an infrared thermal imaging camera. A Kane TC-AM. So in this video, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna see what we get in the box and I'm gonna try it out and find out exactly why I have bought myself one of these. But I would just like to thank Jan from Kane because he's allowed me to get it at half price. I think you'll pay about 600 quid and I've paid around about 300. So thanks for that, Jan, uh, for allowing me to uh, get it off you a little bit cheaper. So, fancy box. Let's see what's in it. Like a magnet, ooh. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna come in a case like this. So we've got like a fancy magnetic box and we've got this case here. One of these soft cases. So what do we get? We get the thermal imaging camera instruction manual and we get it in another language. What's this? Oh, it looks like the charger thing, the charger brick. So we've got the charger brick with the European and the English powers. And then we've got the thermal imaging camera itself. So we'll look at this a bit closer. And then we've just got the power lead. So that's what you get inside this box. So uh, let's get it turned on and see what it gives us. But I think first I need to read the manufacturer's instructions, don't I? So I've read the book. First thing I've got to do is charge it. And it has uh, 18650 lithium ion batteries in there. Whatever they are. So I don't need to get this together. So... Bit of a twist and that took some doing. And there's a little button there if you want to undo it. So you just press that little button there and it comes off. Oh, and you just do that. Why a black plug and a white lead? Never understand that. So it says in here, at the top here, is where we need to charge it. And it says we can't charge it for more than 24 hours. So but it won't turn on, so I guess the battery is flat. So plug that in the top, and I need to go and charge it. So, I'll catch you later, once I've charged it. Now if we turn it on, to get it to charge, you'll see it'll come up on the screen for a short while, and show us how far it is charged. At the moment, we're about three quarters charged. Now, to turn the actual appliance on, we press and hold this button here, till the screen comes on, and you now see it's loading at the bottom. And now it's loaded, you can see the screen and you can see at the top right hand corner there, it's actually showing us that it is charging. And when we're ready for turning off again, we just press and hold the button until it says power off and then it counts down from five to zero and turns off. Now before I go off and use this little baby, let's give you some spec. Now the first one is, it's got a 2.8 inch full view colour screen. Its temperature range, what it can take, is between minus 20 degrees centigrade and plus 300 degrees centigrade. Its shortest focus distance is 0.15 metres. It has a 3 gigabyte uh, SD card built in, which you access from here, and it can actually hold 20,000 images and basically you connect your computer to here to be able to get the images off it hasn't got a separate SD card it's actually built in the rechargeable battery which is in here I don't know whether it comes out here or not but anyway there's a rechargeable battery in here which gives it a runtime of between two and three hours continuous the product actually weighs 389 grams, so it doesn't weigh a lot at all. 
So that's a quick run through of the specifications of this thermal imaging camera made by Kane. One of the things I've bought this for is so we can check places like this bungalow here when we come to size central heating systems to see what heat loss we've got whether we've got enough insulation in the loft, whether the walls are insulated and whether it's triple glazing. So this is the main reason why we bought this thing. So let's see how we're gonna check this bungalow and see how much heat loss it's actually losing. So hopefully now you can see the bungalow and it is showing it's quite red all over because it's actually gaining the thermal heat from the sun. So we can see the walls where they've been out of the sun are this greeny yellow colour but the roof is showing up pretty red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the sun goes in, wait till it goes dark and then I'm going to check again with the camera to see uh, where the heat loss is coming from. I'm going to check it first without the heating on to see what readings we get and then I'm going to put the central heating on to see where we are losing heat from this house. So all we've got to do now is wait till it goes dark and the sun stops thermally heating the building from the outside in. Now this shows you how good double glazing is because that door there, or the red bit, is an open door and there is closed. Where you can see my reflection in the glass. So let me go and shut the door and I'll show you. So now I've closed both doors, you can see they're showing up the same temperature. How amazing! And look at the difference with our wooden front door to the patio doors which are made of glass. It's literally the same colour as the glass window in it. The green thing here where I'm pointing at, that's the door knocker. Well that's the window, that's the glass. And either side of the glass is a wooden door. So don't have a wooden front door. They're not very good. And what you can see now is the boiler flue. And you can see the flue temperature is about 57, 58 degrees. Now it's just starting to go dark and we can see the wall temperature is about 11 degrees inside is 19 degrees and you can pretty much see the wall and the windows are the same the white you're seeing is the actual lights and the roof see the roof is giving off nine degrees so what i'm going to do is when it goes completely dark i'm going to put the heating on and then see how well insulated this house is. Now I'll just turn the heating on and you can now see the radiator working down there and actually on this left hand side is where the CRV is and it's set up as if it's on the flow but actually the flow is on this side and that shows how the radiator works. Now the radiators have been on about 10 minutes and you can see this one it's quite cool at the bottom compared to the top and if we look at another one across the other side you can see that one isn't as bad I need to check the water quality in this heating system so we're back outside now and it's pitch black and you can see the wall temperatures are still pretty much the same as what they were before we turn the heating on heating's been on for about I don't know 45 minutes now We've still got this wall temperature of about 8 degrees and then the roof temperature saying is 4.5 degrees. So that's how you can use this camera to see whether you're losing lots of heat or not through your house. Now if we want to take a picture and store it all we have to do is press this trigger here and it will take the picture. So we've got a boiler in front of us Take a picture of it pressing the trigger. It now asks us do we want to save it? So we need to press this side for yes, this side for no. So we press this side, it now saves it. If we want to retrieve that picture, we press menu, we scroll down to images. We now have to press this arrow here on the right. We can now see it's at the top picture. We press the select button. And there's our picture. You can tell it's the picture because if I move it around it doesn't change. And if we want to scroll through the pictures we've got, we can press this arrow here. A nice picture of Liam. Uh, Rosie. 
<laughs> she'd always get on the act. There's me, and there's Tommy Blood. No, that's Tommy Blood. <laughs> that one's me. That's me. And you can scroll back through your pictures, and you've already seen how we get the pictures off. So to come out of the pictures, we press that, and then we press that, and then you can see we're now out of the pictures. Now this uh, Kane TCAM infrared thermal imaging camera, what do I think of it? Well, I really did enjoy playing around with it last night, but uh, is there anything I don't like about it? Well, a couple of things is, it would have been great if we could have done video as well instead of just pictures. And also, getting the pictures off this, you have to go through your laptop and then you can email them or you can send them from your laptop to your phone if you've got the Apple products and stuff like that. But it would have been great if we had an app because I have seen some of them out there on Tinterweb where they have an app and you can send information off the unit to your app and then you can do whatever you want with it. So it would have been better if it had that. Um, Price-wise for me, um, because I've got it half price, I'm quite happy at that. But would I be happy paying 600 quid for it, which I've seen on, on the internet? Well, if it had the app-based thing and I could do all that, then yeah, it, it, it would be perfect. But uh, everything's perfect and in this world, is it? I'm really looking forward to using this more though, because it is a fantastic piece of kit. Once you get used to using it, it's got loads of different settings which I've shown most of them on there. But you don't just have to be a gas engineer to use one of these. One of the things you can use it for is seeing if your windscreen defroster works. It's a good thing for that. Or your um, seats, if you've got electrically heated seats like I have in my van, you can test your seats as well with that. So I found it good for that. But electricians can use them to find if there's any wires and stuff like that. But obviously for us as plumbers and gas engineers, it's great for finding leaks. It's perfect for looking at on the floor heating and radiators as you've seen from this video. Everybody could use one of these from surveyors through to electricians. So, hope you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.